Cool beans. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the midweek fundamental and technical analysis. Before I jump into the technical analysis, let me give a quick disclaimer, as always. Um, this is not financial advice. Anything that I share during this analysis is for educational purposes only. I repeat, this is not financial advice. Any and everything that I share during this analysis is for educational purposes only. Who beans? Who beans? All right. Well, let's get into it. Um, I told you guys on the beginning of the week analysis that uh, – Give me a second. I think I just lost connection. Okay. <clears throat> On the beginning of the week analysis, I told you guys that I wanted to see um, a bearish. Um, I wanted to see bearish price action out of the dollar this week. And um, I told you guys that um I expected us to pull back up into this daily candle here, this down, this bearish candle, right? And um, I wanted to see us sell off from there. But as you can see today, we got this long wick up, reaching for that monthly buy side liquidity, but we still closed below Friday's candle, right? So, I'm still bearish. I'm still on the bearish side as far as my bias for the week. And I want to see if the news that we have coming out tomorrow and Thursday is what gets the dollar down to this monthly 79% monthly PDO rate level, right? Um, and even if we don't get down here to the 79, I would like to see us at least uh, retest the 62 right, of the weekly PDRA, right? Um, yeah, that's what I would like to see to close the week. I would like to see us get down to the, either this weekly 62 PDRA or this monthly 79% PDRA, right? And as you can see, this is where my attention is really um, – focused on this uh, liquidity void that we see here, this gap between these two candles. I want to see price run us down into there. That's what I would really like to see. But, of course, we got a break and close below this weekly PD array and this weekly PD array before we can fill in that liquidity void. So that's what I'm expecting out of the dollar for the rest of the week. Um, looking at currencies, you know, um, I wanted to see us pull back off of this level. I wanted to see us pull back off of this level. We got that pull back today. So from here, I expect us to continue higher for Euro USD, reaching for these monthly PDRA levels, um, and these weekly PDRA, uh, PDRA levels, and eventually this monthly buy side liquidity from December, right? So that's what I'm expecting out of Euro USD. We could see one more down day tomorrow out of Euro USD to see price delivered efficiently, right? To this breaker block right here. It's low, high, lower, low, higher, high. Because this is a daily breaker. So we could see news give us a week down to that breaker and then see price run away from there right run away to the upside so that's what i'm expecting out of euro usd <clears throat> i would like to see us push higher um from the pound i mean i would like to see the pound push higher from where um price is currently at right and i want to see us get back above this structure here right that is what I would like to see out of NZD USD. I mean, I'm sorry, out of GBP USD. Now, looking at NZD USD, I told you guys Monday that I wanted to see us buy from this daily fair value gap. But I told you if we was to break and close below that 
daily fat value gap uh, if we was to break in and close below it aggressively that I expect the price to retest this monthly sell side liquidity. Well, we got that all in one swoop today. Um, we just fell right through that level. Right? I don't, I'm quite sure we had an opportunity on one note. We didn't have an opportunity on no time frame for the retest. Let me see the minute. No. You had to be on the seconds. To even, I don't even know if the seconds gave you an opportunity. This is the 15 second. Yeah, 15 second. We gave you an opportunity. Well, that's for your, that's for my scalpers out there. I ain't too many people trade on um, the second time frame, but you can see on the 15 second, you had a, a few seconds to catch that retest and it was bombs away from there. So let me go back up to the hour. Um, yeah. So I'd like to see us go higher from. From where we're currently at, I love to see us go high. Exactly how I have it drawn out. So, yeah, that's what I'm expecting to see out of NZD USD for the rest of the week. Looking at futures, last but not least, um, I told you guys in the beginning of the week that these um are my daily PDRA levels from. Thursday, last Thursday. Now, one, I expected to see us pull back down to these levels a lot faster than, than I didn't think it was going to take us until I don't, we still ain't even reached them. So, um, I was looking for us to beat on rent these levels by Tuesday, no later than Wednesday. So, we'll see if between now and by the end of tomorrow closing, if we made it down to these levels. The, these um are my longing levels, my buying levels. Um, This is where I'm looking to buy from. I would like to see us give at least a 62 to 70, 79% retracement off of this swing up. Right. Um, and these are the daily PDRA levels. Weekly, um, PDRA levels. The sixty-two percent is like around the daily sell side liquidity. Seventy-nine percent is like somewhere in here. I'm not looking for price to give us that much of a retracement. Um, but I I would like to see price give us a a good buy an opportunity off of these daily um discount so that's what i'm looking for if we break back above this structure then of course uh we would want to see price close above this um up close candle here um in this down close candle right we want to see price close above there and then come back Give us a retest off those levels and run straight for that weekly buy side liquidity. So that's if we break back above this structure. Cool beans, cool beans, and pretty much the same thing with NQ. I like to NQ got a lot closer to that uh the, those daily discount rate levels. So uh, yeah, let's see between now and um closing tomorrow. I will be looking for short opportunities down to these levels, right? Um, once price pushes back up into this um, bullish closing candle right here, right? I like to see price reach up into that candle. When we go down to the lower time frame, we probably see uh, some fair value gaps in that in there somewhere, 15 minutes. I mean, currently inside of one now. Broke above it on the 15 minute. Let me go down to 
five minute. Yeah. So we got a fat bag gap up here. So yeah. Um I I'll be paying attention to price to see if we get up into this fair value gap to look from short, to look for shorts from there down to the daily PDRA levels and then back up to the ups. Cool beans. Cool beans. So that'll pretty much wrap up um the midweek technical analysis. Um Home is not going to be with us tonight. So that will conclude the midweek fundamental and technical analysis. Um, at this time, I end the call and um, take any questions. So, um, yeah, as always, um, I appreciate you guys tuning in tonight, coming out, getting this knowledge and empowering yourselves. If the reviews, um, or adding any value to your lives, to your trading journey, feel free to like, share, and most of all, subscribe to the YouTube channel. really helps out a lot. And um, if you're interested in joining the private Telegram group, go to PrecisionPipsLLC.com and sign up for the civil. Um, with that being said, um, yeah, my, mom, my mother was in a pretty bad bump up car accident, you know, She's doing well, but she's pretty banged up. So as you guys know, every night on the call, I always tell you guys to please let your family and friends know you love them while they're still here. Please. Um, and as always, you, you know.